Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I love your smoke. Are you part of the smoke challenge? Oh, oh yeah. I think that <clears throat> we we are celebrating the Damba Festival. Oh, okay. That, uh, that's why the, there's a smoke challenge. I guess so. Okay. I, I've seen I've seen the smoke challenge on social media. Mm. I you know I use smoke often actually. Right. I use it use it often, and mm. I guess that it has to do with the Damba Festival, okay. which is being celebrated this month. Perhaps that could be the motivation. Mm. Okay, I see. <coughs> but, but when is the the celebration coming on? Well, the Damba Festival is a celebration that is done mm. by not just only the Moli the Gombe people. Okay. And when we talk of the Moli the Gombes, we are making reference to the Gombes, the Mampuises, the Nanumbes, the Wales. Mm and also even the Moses in mm -hmm. Bur Burkina Faso, they trace their ancestry to one great-grandfather mm -hmm. who is the Gbewa. Okay. And even if you go to places like Boku, even the Kusasis to a very large extent also have some relationship with the, with the, the Gbewa. Okay. However, Gunjas, you know, who are members of the Guam, mm -hmm. also celebrate the Damba festival. You know, Islam, passed to the northern part of the country for right. a very long time. Right. The, the Bang Kingdom, for example, is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, mm. you know, kingdom you can think of in this country. The, the Bang Kingdom started in the 14th century. Mm. Even the almighty Asante Kingdom, you know, came 300 years after the, the Bang Kingdom was established. The Asante Kingdom was established in the 17th century. The Dagban Kingdom was established in the 14th century. And at the time these kingdoms were established, you had the influence of traders okay. who came there through Nigeria. Mm. The houses, the Fulanis, the Grumes, who came for trade expedition. Mm. And of course, they were already exposed to Islam. So they introduced their kind of Islam to the people. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it, if you go to any of these traditional areas, okay. the traditions, the customs, to a very large extent, are influenced mm. by Islamic teachings and principles through assimilation and long-term of practices. When the Dagban kings wanted to go to war, they needed to pray. Mm -hmm. And in those days, the, the, the literature is that they would send a bottle to whether in Nigeria or in somewhere, and then they would recite the Quran into the bottle, mm. close it. Mm. They will bring it, then they gather, and then they all open. Okay. When they open, the assumption was that the prayer that was done in the bottle would get to all of these people. So mm. there is huge influence. So the Damba festival is marked to celebrate the birth of Prof Prophet Muhammad. And in, do, and in doing that, mm. so one would ask, what has Islam got to do, to do with, the festival, with right? traditions and customs? Mm. It's because of the influences. Okay that has to do with how Islam was introduced into those areas mm. and the effect of Islamic practices in the so they have the tenth month, the lunar month, that is the third lunar month of the Islamic calendar. Okay. On the tenth day, that is what they do the Somo Damba. Okay. The Somo Damba they gather, they read Quran in the morning. You know, that's on the eleventh day. Okay. They, after the tenth day, the next day read read Quran in the morning, slaughter a bull mm. and then they do prayers. Then in the evening the, there's someone who would lead, they get it, it's someone who would lead in the royal family or mm. one of his sub chief. Mm. Mm. But the Yana, for example, wouldn't but come out in the morning. He comes out in the evening where the dancings are done. And anybody who wants to dance, you would come to the Yana and seek his blessings okay, before, before you go and dance. Go and then dance. He moved in there in a somber mood where the drums and appellations are set. So after the Sumo Damba, they wait on the 17th, which mm -hmm. is the Nadamba. Mm -hmm. It also comes with a lot of dancing. And when the moon appeared, you know, the tenth, the ten days, within the ten days, you have young people who will be going to the chief palaces to be learning how to dance and the culture and then the feast. Now, when the Sumo Damba is done, on the seventh film day, they have the, the Nadamba. After the Nadamba, there is something we call the Belkulsi. Mm -hmm. The purpose of it is that it's an opportunity for families to come together so that you can do an evaluation okay. of the past year and also have programs and projects in the coming year. So it is a very beautiful culture. I see. And it's a culture that is also used to unite people. And mm. as, as a politician and as a young person, I just want to urge my colleagues and urge everybody that we should reflect over this. The coming together, the celebration should be an opportunity where we forge ahead in unison mm -hmm. and in unity mm -hmm. and see how best we can help improve the living conditions of our people particularly in the northern part of the country, by creating the necessary opportunities. Mm. Thank God this year, my understanding is that it's going to be celebrated 
in the in Yendi at the auspices of His Royal Highness the Yana. The Yana, okay. You know, so we all expect to be there. Right. Sons and daughters of the Gombes, fine near mm. those in the country, those you know outside. We hear you. Uh, all endeavor we to hear participate you. in the Dumbo. We climb the mountain to go and celebrate with Dennis and his people as well. <laughs> Dennis, so Dennis, I'm inviting you to come there. to Yendi <laughs> to celebrate the Dumbo festival. No, I'm there. I go. I go. I have a smoke. This a similar color. To similar. Thing. So, so, you, so you rock it and go. Yes, if I'll you come. need a smoke. For the purposes of the celebration, I'll it's a different one. to give you a different smoke. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'll be there. I'll come. I'll come. I'll come.